In this video, I will show you how you can install Jenkins CI server on your local machine. Jenkins is the most popular tool for continuous integration and continuous delivery on any platform, including any of the major cloud providers. Jenkins is a basically a Java application, so it supports all kind of Java artifacts like jar where you can upload any of the artifact Jenkins supports that one of the great feature of Jenkins is its plugin it provides huge plugins which are not there in any other CI server there are many CI servers in the industry like Circus CI, Team City, Bamboo, Travis CI etc but most popular of all is the Jenkins so in this particular tutorial we are going to show you how you can install Jenkins step by step on your look on your Windows machine and also you can create a sample pipeline job so that you can get an idea how the pipeline jobs basically a job runs in the Jenkins this is my first video in four video series so I'm going to create a playlist in which I'm going to make all the videos about Jenkins this video is just going to be a lab setup on your local machine but in our next video we are going to discuss a master slave architecture on Jenkins on the cloud on AWS and in my third video we will talk about master slave architecture on docker container so there will be a one docker container as acting as a master and another one or two will act as a slave machine and last video the fourth one will be will go for the kubernetes so kubernetes will have both master and slave and we are going to schedule jobs on the Kubernetes on the Kubernetes masters Jenkins machine Jenkins container basically and we, we are going to see and monitor how the jobs are going to schedule on the slave containers but for now uh, let's install the Jenkins in our first lab setup in order to install the Jenkins you have to go to the Jenkins.io it's very easy you can just type into the Google like Jenkins.io this is the official documentation from the Jenkins site to download you can click on the download button directly now here you will get the two options to download either if you are on Windows and if you wanted to go for the Windows MSI installer you can go with that but in our case I'm just going to download with the general Java package like this so always make sure that you're downloading the stable version of the Jenkins so like stable LTS LTS means long-term support and they also do the weekly releases which is like if if any one of the release is unstable they can simply roll out that feature so it's always uh, safe to go with the LTS so that you know it's uh, they have tested quite good now on this particular build so we can use it and we can install on our machine so as you can see the Jenkins uh, downloading started so we will wait till the download completes and after that I will uh, show you the next step as our download is completed right now we can check our download jar file under downloads let me do the directory I can see my Jenkins where file is present here so in order to install this I can simply run the command like do the command like java hyphen jar so let's type java hyphen jar will give our uh, artifact name which is jenkins.var so we're running right now so i don't want port 8080 to be get conflicted with that one so i'm going to start jenkins server on port 9090 so once i do this so jenkins installation will start As you guys can see uh, jenkins installation started so once entire this process is get completed it will throw us our endpoint like localhost uh, 9090 once we go to that url we can do the, our manual setup so i will stop the recording right now so that this can so as we can see our jenkins is fully up and running so let's go to our url which is a localhost the port we want to connect on 1990 so it will ask us to initial admin password you know to find this you can either go manually to this particular link let me show that 
or other way we can do is by using the command line so i will just i will just create a new command open a new command prompt okay we have the password here as well so instead of going there we can just copy the password from here and we can paste in our Jenkins URL we can say continue oh I think there is a space oh password is incorrect the following password so we can just copy like this Not sure why it's feeling here. Let me check what's the password by the way. This is the correct password showing. Three minutes space. Oh, it's loaded. It's loaded now. So maybe we were adding some extra spaces before. So we'll go with this first option install suggested plugins because that is what we wanted let's close this so keep this Jenkins verify running in the background because if you close this this URL will not work So let this uh, setup get completed. I uh, will show once it completes entirely. We will continue from there. So some of the plugins we have failed to install, but that is okay. We we anyway don't require those plugins. We can just say continue. So first we have to create our admin user. I will just name it as admin admin. Password as well admin and admin uh, for the name I can just keep it as an admin now and I will just say admin add um, you can say like any name just like xyz.com because this anyway we are not going to say in any kind of notification and so that is okay so I will say continue save and continue so the endpoint that is what we want Jenkins URL localhost 1990 save and finish. So let's start using Jenkins. So this is how the Jenkins UI will looks like. This is the latest version of Jenkins. At the top you will get your admin user account. If you are logged in with some other user that name will come here. But right now we logged in as admin. So admin. This is a logout. Here you will get the notifications. Right now we have some plugins notification but that's okay all these plugins are not in use right now so this is a Jenkins dashboard so let me just explain you quickly what this Jenkins dashboard and what are the menu options we have so this is the new item here you can create the pipeline jobs freestyle jobs github organization multi-branch pipeline jobs and all that the most important most important menu option here is the manage Jenkins because under manage Jenkins only you can do a lot of your administration Jenkins administration basically you can configure the, your system like the video we are talking about in the next upcoming videos like manage multi master slave setup we are going to do that here manage nodes and the cloud we are going to create nodes on the cloud and we are going to manage that from this local machine so which this is we are going to cover for the security how you can configure security status information and all that if you install you can just explore all other options then under people this is for if you are you if you're like if you're in an organization you have the multiple people here from that whatever jobs basically the jobs you will create the build history of all those jobs will come here like since how long your bills are running and till what point uh, as you can see in the top like December this is a date calendar basically it gives you the overall view of your Jenkins so that is how it is 
and now uh, let's create our sample pipeline job we'll go with the pipeline and I will just say the first pipeline job first pipeline job I will select pipeline okay then under configuration window you can you have the option to give some description for your pipeline job like what exactly it does and there are many options here like discover old builds and all that like if you have the old builds like you have pipeline job run more than 100 times then you can delete the old builds by giving the number like how till maximum builds you wanted to keep like that now okay, we don't require all this here the trigger section uh, there are multiple triggers here We'll, exp we'll make another video which is specifically targeting on this particular feature only because this is a very com interesting uh, aspect of job configuration and you, this is very common and you will have to do it very often if you are a DevOps or cloud engineer or basically Jenkins administrator. So this is where you write the pipeline. So all the Jenkins uh, pipelines are getting written into the Groovy script. Groovy is the language Jenkins basically uses for the pipeline script. There are two types of pipelines script. One is the pipeline script normal and other is the pipeline script from SCM. So this is basically you store your pipeline script in some remote location like GitHub. You can use it and the naming convention you always have to use as a Jenkins file. You can pass your GitHub URL here and the credentials and the branch name. In our case, we don't require this. We'll just go with the sample pipeline script. I will just go to a sample try pipeline or uh, in our case I can just go with the scripted pipeline like this or basically I will just go with the hello world simple pipeline so this is the pipeline structure of hello world you have the pipeline see so this is a groovy script basically so agent means on which agent this pipeline is going to run on like the server in our case is our local machine itself we have the one stage called hello and we have under hello stage we want the Jenkins to run echo hello world so let's run this pipeline I'm just going to save this here in order to run the pipeline you just have to click on the build now button and once the build started you will see your build is getting started here you can click here and see the console output as well just click on this build number and you can see the console output like this under console output you see our build got successful and the message it throws out is hello world you can do this this pipeline job you can create for multiple environments like stage production pre pro you know in order to deploy you just have to first like do the git checkout like you have to pick up the code then you have to build the code then you have to upload the artifact into a QA environment once the testing passes you will move to the staging and once the stage passes you will move to the production We'll explore all this aspect of the pipeline job in our upcoming videos. But for now, this is the setup. This is the first pipeline and this is how you can install Jenkins on your local machine. So we are going to uh, done for this video uh, in this video. And in our upcoming videos, we will talk about the master slave architecture on Jenkins and how you can do that on the cloud. And then same setup how you can achieve on Docker containers and similar setup how you can achieve on the kubernetes okay so if you found this video useful you can like the video if you found something unrelevant and you do not in like this video then you can dislike if you have some suggestion for me to improve you can always comment out so thank you for watching this video i will i will see you in another video thanks